The whole idea of me coming in as someone with my type of specialty against regular designers was very exciting. It was an opportunity for me to say, hey, here's a real world competition. Can I do what I do in that environment and actually be successful at it? And the fact that these people that I'm working with are just, they're really, I mean, they're really skilled and amazing at what they do. And we have a very, very diverse group of people. So to be considered one of America's best designers is really an honor and an opportunity to showcase what I do uh, on a national level. So I'm known as the Eco MacGyver. And the eco MacGyver is someone who thinks outside the eco box. So there's, you know, a fixed parameter on how people think being uh, eco-friendly or uh, living a green lifestyle is. And I'm someone who um, does things, you know, very um, unorthodox. So I have a company that solves ecological problems through building and design. So um, we work on everything from homes to schools to businesses, and we help them to create an ecological um, environment or an, uh, an ecologically friendly environment for the people that occupy the buildings. And our whole mission is to really educate people while we design things that are exciting and fun and thinking outside of this you know, eco box, if you will, not to just do things the way, say, an environmentalist would do it or someone who's too serious. Really what, we're, what I try to do with my designs is to try to make people feel healthy and vibrant and excited about the space they live in while you know, giving them um, you know, a chance to, uh, to just live a healthier lifestyle. Trying to get exercise in, trying to eat you know, the best that I can while, while on set and stay hydrated and all that is one thing, but then the pressures of doing the build and the dynamics between the team members, we don't always get along and we're not always gonna see eye to eye on things and that can be very challenging in an environment where, all, where we're all responsible for the success of each build. And um, you know, specifically in my case, I found it really um, you know, challenging to do this type of design that I would normally do because I'm looking at other aspects that other designers aren't thinking of. I'm looking at where do those materials come from? How healthy are they inside the house? Are they going to pollute the air inside? Are they going to make somebody sick? And I'm thinking about how much energy we're using inside of the house and all those other opportunities that I can go into so many specifics with my designs and there isn't enough time to do everything. I'm absolutely proud of what we did inside the houses and I think that we couldn't have done a better job with this house and when they see inside, they're gonna be blown away. I mean, I can't wait to, to show the little boy his boy's room that I made for him and the things that I picked out for him that I would have loved to have had in my room when I was his age. His, I, I mean, he's gonna be so surprised. And I know that, you know, we were able to give them what they had dreamed of that we could, we could see from, from watching their video. I know that we gave them everything that they asked for and more, and they have no clue what they're in for. I hope that by being on this show, it's going to expand my brand uh, to a larger level uh, for my company. And I think that, um, I hope that I'm able to reach more people with the type of design that I do and to help them to see the opportunities that they have with their projects to take on a little bit of what I'm saying and what I'm about um, and marry it with their own personal style.